well, why do we have it there anyways? What's going on underneath? And these suffering obligations of love are basically like our mind thinking in some way, well, you know, my parents only had it this good or people in my family only had it this good. So in order to maintain my status of belonging, I'm only going to have it that good too. It's like our way to try to not betray our family or like assuage our guilt at having escaped their fate. And when you say it out loud, it sounds so silly. Like, of course, no, your parents are probably rooting for you to have an experience that was better than theirs. But our psychology does something that tries to really like connect with them based on that suffering. And it's really unwinding that like, misery loves company and going to the pleasure loves company 